Hey guys, welcome back to Eat Sip Crave. Today I'm gonna be making the most delicious and simple garlicky tomato soup for you guys. And this recipe is absolutely simple, absolutely delicious. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. I hope you will give it a try. The recipe will be linked in the description box below at eatsipcrave.com. And without further ado, let's cook. Here are the ingredients that we're gonna be using today. You guys can see it's really a simplistic list of ingredients. I have a couple of roasted vegetables that I'm gonna be using, a can of whole peeled tomatoes. The variety uh, really doesn't matter here, but you know, use what you have on hand. I definitely wouldn't waste good San Marzano tomatoes on this, but if that is what you have, go ahead and use it. I have my spice blend, which will be linked in the recipe, as well as some sugar, some water, and some vegetable base. So let's go ahead and get started. So all I'm doing now is bringing the temperature of the Dutch oven up and I have some olive oil inside. Now, typically I would have some um, onions that I'd be sauteing to go into this recipe, but because I'm using two roasted onions, that's going to be all of the fresh onion that I'm using as well as the same with garlic. So the only thing we'll need to do here once this comes up to temperature is kind of toast up our spices a little bit and then we'll go ahead and literally it's almost going to be like dumping everything in the pot so that it gets cooking. We'll bring it up to a boil and then we'll let it simmer and the soup is virtually done. So all I'm going to do is dump in those spices and kind of let these just saute in the oil. Um, let it help make the oil a little bit fragrant. And that way um, the spices can come up to temperature with the actual pot. The next thing I'm going to do is pull out all of the garlic from the roast. And I'm going to be using two whole heads of gar roasted garlic. So this is going to be garlicky. If you are someone that doesn't like as much garlic, don't put as much. You know, it's just that simple. Put what you prefer to your liking. Um, I don't know if it'll be a garlicky tomato soup, but <laughs> it'll be fine, I'm sure. And you don't have to worry about blending. Um, from cutting anything because we're going to blend this up at the end so you know I wouldn't waste uh, time chopping ingredients. And I just have my uh, first onion going in here. You want to try to stop the cook on the spices so they don't burn. And then I'll go ahead and add in the tomatoes that I roasted. Now I am peeling the skins off of these because I don't want the um, charred skin on here. So once I peel that off, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off the little bottom and drop those in. Now that we're simmering a little bit, I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit more. And then I'm gonna add in my broth and my sugar. And then we're gonna let this boil um, for just about a minute or so. And then we'll turn it down to simmer. So, so far it smells good. It's nice and seasoned. Um, as always, like, you know, you want to check for seasoning towards the end of cooking just to make sure that everything is flavored to your liking. Um, I will adjust any seasonings that I think I need more of towards the end. But as of right now, like this soup came together with virtually no effort. If you're going to roast your vegetables, if you like that flavor profile, roast the vegetables at 425 for roughly about like 30 minutes. And you know, you can do it a little bit less. I would say the minimum really is 20. Um, the maximum probably should be 40 if you want like an extra roasted kind of um, char flavor on it. But I did mine for about 40 this time. Typically I do anywhere from 20 to 30. So now that this is boiling, all I'm gonna do is cover the top over Reduce the heat to medium low, and I'm gonna let this simmer for about 20 minutes. So 
So all I'm doing is taking out the bay leaves. Now um, the soup has simmered probably for a little bit more than 20 minutes um, because I sat down to eat something. But <clears throat> this is what we're looking like. All I'm gonna do now is take my immersion blender in and blend this down to a pretty smooth like soup. It's not gonna be super smooth because the tomatoes still have the seeds in them, but you know, that's up to you. If you wanna take the extra step of straining your soup, you can do that. I typically don't do that with my tomato soups. I prefer them to be a little bit heartier to have a little bit of texture in the food. So I'm just gonna go blend this, make sure you're in there. Make sure you're in there pretty good and um, you're not splashing hot soup on yourself. So all I'm gonna do is give this a quick taste. That is so good. It's light, it's rich at the same time. You can taste like the roastiness of like the vegetables, which is nice. Mm. It has a nice light mouthfeel. You get those like seasonings that come through, but they're not overpowering, which is one of the things that, you know, I really try to make sure of when I'm cooking for myself and others that my foods are really well balanced. Now, if you would like to at this stage and you want to make this a little bit richer, you can add maybe like a quarter cup of heavy cream to kind of get a little bit more viscosity into the soup. I'm not going to do that today. I want something a little bit lighter fare, but that is up to you. I would suggest try it first. Um, if you don't, if you want it richer, then definitely go ahead and add the heavy cream. But this is basically the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope that you'll give this recipe a try. Leave me a comment in the description box. Subscribe if you haven't, like and share. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.